The Cure for Feminism and MGTOW. I'm Jay, EscobarJ.com. And this video again is The Cure for Feminism and MGTOW. So I've done uh, one video on this topic so far, it's called The Cure for MGTOW and Feminism. I'm going to go ahead and post the link to that video into the description. If you haven't watched the first one, check that one out first. But today, I'm going to talk to you about the second cure for feminism and MGTOW, and that is to become a spiritual beast. So here's the deal. Being a spiritual beast means you're living in high vibrational harmony with source energy. It means to be a sorcerer. And that means to be living of the source, a spiritual super sane, if you will. So a spiritual beast is gonna be focused on his mission and his highest purpose above all else. But that purpose has to be aligned with the universe. It can't just be considered work. That's not your highest purpose. It's not aligned with the universe. So a little bit about how I was raised. So personally, I was raised to believe that you should put God first in your life. He's the beacon of light that directs your life, your wife second, nobody comes out, nobody comes before your wife, your children and family third, work fourth, whatever your career is, and everything else comes after that. And on paper, if you look at that on paper, that sounds correct on the surface, but that's actually not quite accurate. Because to live at your deepest purpose means relentlessly pursuing the reason that you were put here on this earth. It is literally to put God first and to be in high vibrational harmony with source energy and to align your mission and purpose and calling with that intention. To put God first is to put your mission and purpose and calling as long as it's in high vibrational harmony with aligning that with intention and source energy, it is one and the same. So to put God first is correct, but to put your mission and purpose first above your wife is actually the correct format in this. And that's why it's not quite accurate. And so that's why to become a spiritual beast, you must focus on your mission, your purpose, and living at high vibrational frequencies and not letting anything or anyone get in the way of that. It is to step outside your edge. It's facing danger and fear with courage, and it's breaking through to the pursuit of freedom. And this is why in Red Pill Awareness, it teaches that a woman should only be a complement to a man's life and not the primary focus of it. And that's what it's referring to. But again, the differentiation there is your mission and purpose must be aligned with intention, the universe, source energy, God, whatever it is you want to call it. If you just have a career that you're, that's, you know is not your highest purpose, that's different. That's not, that's not putting God first. It's two different things. You need to be aligned in source energy to be a sorcerer, to be a spiritual beast, to align your true calling with what it is that you're put here on this earth to accomplish. That is literally to put God first. So that is why a woman should not be the center of your life, or that's, that's exactly why a woman should only be a complement to a man's life. Or I guess I should say feminine energy should be a complement to a masculine energy. And the feminine imperative has evolved these biological and social mechanisms, i.e. hypergamy, 
And so it's our responsibility to adapt in such a way that repolarizes masculine and feminine energies into their correct frequencies. That, my friends, is the cure to feminism and MGTOW. All feminism and MGTOW is, is a depolarization of masculine and feminine energy. When too much masculinity becomes feminized, Feminine energy feels the urge and need to make up for that absence of masculine energy. Ergo, feminism. And so that creates the depolarization in the energy frequencies. So as men and as masculine energy, it's our duty and responsibility to be better. We can't wish it was easier. We have to be better. We have to lead and we have to evolve into spiritual super saints and raise the bar of true masculinity. Now, to lead means to go first. That's what masculine energy is, breaking through barriers, accomplishing mission and purpose. So when this narrative is reestablished, feminine energy cannot help itself but to submit to the safety of our masculine presence. Raw feminine energy truly desires repolarization of raw masculine energy. So that being said, become a spiritual beast. Stay hard. Now, if you'd like to get my help with this, quickest way is to book a coaching session on my website, escobarj.com. And do me a favor, share this video with anybody that you know who's a feminist, who's a MGTOW, or anything in between, or someone who's struggling in a relationship, because that is my purpose and mission and calling, is to help people self-actualize, improve themselves, and become and reach the highest versions of themselves, as well as myself. That being said, hope you're always learning, always growing, and always pushing forward. Stay hard. And I'll see you in the next one.